Guys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Relief Windows, visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience. And by Farm Bureau Insurance. Happy New Year. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. Welcome back to Pure Bait and Tackle. Uh, they got a house full this morning. You know what that tells us? They tell me the New Year is starting off good. There's a lot of fish being caught. We'll talk about it in, in our fishing report. Uh, don't have a, a lot of duck reports. I guess it's because they're probably killing ducks and, and being in the woods and don't want to take time to send me any information so I hope they hope that's true but God bless you I got one duck report I'm gonna tell you this too uh, it's been the rut uh, I got deer coming in and what gets me more excited than anything is when kids are killing it in the woods they're out fishing in boats holidays are here most of them going back to work this is Monday January the 4th and then probably by this weekend uh, they're gonna all be back to school so be safe, and I'm going to tell you what, when I come back later, I lost two more friends with their covered. It's something serious. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. James Loop and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was a uh, first day at roughly 5 36 o'clock in the evening. I was like let's stay fishing and she's like ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch you know. <laughs> yeah I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you Super Chevy dealers for my 2020 Silverado. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia. Because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag. Designed for leverage and power. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. Hey, welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. We, we've always encouraged people, especially young people, to, to, you know, to be in the outdoors. Get away from the electronic games and doing this. Well, about two years ago, I, I met a young lady that was all excited about outdoors. I, 
and uh, she had made deer hunts. She had made other kind of hunts with her dad, and uh, she, she was wanting to know if I could find a place. They were having a hard time finding a place for her. Her name is Morgan Babbin. And when I met her, she was 14 years old, or just getting ready to be 14, and I set up a trip uh, up in Mississippi with her, her and her dad and, and myself in a blind. Let me tell you what. Since then, this young girl's been unbelievable what, what she's doing. We're going to revisit the hunt we made because it was just, I didn't get too many invitations, put it that way, but they are so, so amazing what she's done done. She got a part-time job. She's still in school. She still hunts. She goes on a duck hunt. She fishes with the bass tournaments, with the high school bass tournament. She does it all. It's amazing. She's a super young lady and a super outdoorsman to come. So uh, let, me, let me tell you this, and uh, I'm going to remind y'all, when we get those junctions in the water, get those junctions in the woods, and uh, see how this little girl turned out. Only disappointment is, I, 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 just, I think I heard, I see she got a boyfriend, but the blessing about that is he's the outdoorsman. Here's Morgan Babbin. Thank you. I said before, I, I had a pleasure. I love being around people that are young hunters, first time hunters, first yes, time sir. deer killers. You're not. You're 14 years old, but you're almost a veteran. Yes, it, sir. Your dad has brought you up in the woods, brought you up in the outdoors. What do you like so much about hunting? I like being in the woods where there's nothing, you don't have to worry about anything. There's no worries. You can spend time hunting and fishing and even with the family. Family is out there. You have nothing to worry about. No cares. You know, as far as your dad is concerned, I understand. He was telling me there's nothing like quality time with the kids and being right. in a deer stand, a fishing boat. Right. And, and, and he, he reveled in being there himself. Mm-hmm. Now, how important is it is to you to spend that much time? Your dad is busy, you in school, spend that much time with your dad. It's very important. You know, he, he is working to support all of us, and he doesn't always get time to spend time with us, but when he does, it's very, very important to us. <laughs> when you talk to your friends at school, you play volleyball. Yes, sir. Okay, you're an athlete. Uh, you can probably be anything you want. You can be a model, you can be a... Uh, a dancer, a cheerleader, you can be anything you want, yes, no sir. doubt about it. But, you know, you, this is your quality time is in the outdoors. It is. How do you, how do you tell other girls or your friends, how do you try to get them involved in hunting? You know, you can't make somebody do what they don't want to do. But to encourage them, you just have to show them how much fun it is. You know, Feeding your family and taking a life, it's, it's very Different. close to home. It's something you should be proud of, you know? Yeah, it's a heritage. It, it is. you come from Livingston Parish, you know, all over the state of Louisiana, there's a heritage, but we pick on about Livingston Parish, yes, and that's sir. the way it is. So let, let, let me say this. You, in, in your mind right now, you don't think you're going to burn out on this, getting up early in the Never. morning and everybody else is <laughs> Never. Sure? Promise. So your dream is to host or work for a company that you would host and they'll send you off to hunt and yes, make sir. videos. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, I hope you come back and do something with Paradise of Weezing, whether it's oh, rabbit well. hunt, fishing, you know. There's a lot of things that Mr. Gary could use you on. Well, and, let's do and it. don't have to worry about teaching you anything. You let you go. Yes, sir. Your dad has done doing a great job. He did. Tell us about this last hunt we've been on. Tell me what you remember about this hunt, and uh, let's make a trip. So we had three hunts. We had one evening, one morning, and then we had another evening. The first evening, we, we watched seven deer come through the field. We watched them for about a good 10 minutes, you say. And we finally picked out the biggest doe, and I took her down. We walked up to her, perfect shot. 
Perfect shot. Mr. Gary didn't think I hit it. He didn't see. You got it. You got it on the. Did you hit it? Yeah, it's down. Well, shoot no, another no, one. Yeah, two, they're running toward each other. Shoot, no, they're running no, off. No, no, I ain't no, even no, gonna no, try no, that. No, no, no. The sec, the last day. The last I, day. I wanted somebody. I wanted to kill it. I did. Yes. And I want to give you a chance. So you kill another, you didn't kill one that morning. Mm -hmm. You kill another doe. He still had 10, 15 doe that was short, and they were yeah. hoping to kill some more. And uh, when you manage property real good, and, you, and you'll see why they say conservation. If yes. you got one animal, coyotes, you got things that are overrunning your property, you, you need to clean them out. Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing with geese. Okay, yes. right now, we had a bad goose season. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, they begged us to kill every snow geese that we could kill because they were eating themselves out of home yeah. up in Canada. Yeah, overpopulation. That's it. So you, you really have to do this. We can really be conservationists. But dogs, I'm telling you what, they save. So they don't waste no wildlife. No. When you wound one, sometimes you couldn't find them, or you would find them later. You might get your horns or that but you lose the, the meat. meat. Mm -hmm. But even when you lose one, you feed the coyotes. Uh, you're on you're a right. Broadcast, so. so let's talk about the rest of this hunt. You went that evening. What about that other hunt? That evening, me and my dad sat in the stand, and we saw about five doe come out. And we finally found the biggest one. It was about 200 yards away, and I took her down. And Another good shot. Perfect shot. Two hundred. Perfect. It was perfect. Same place. Perfect shot. Same place. They don't all scatter. Reload. Shoot again. You ready? Yes. Shit. Right there. Did she drop? Yeah, she's flopping around out there. That's a menace. I can't think of nobody I would rather hunt again with or be in a blind with. You, you, you enjoy it by the way you're smart, you make good grades. Yes, sir. And uh, you promise to be back? Promise. Sure. Pinky promise. Can I have a hug? Yes. Look at that. That's what makes eat your heart out, all y'all guys in Denham Springs <laughs> and the rest of the world. This is a honey person, okay? She is the future of hunting in Louisiana. Uh, my name is James Loop and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was a uh, first day at roughly 5, 36 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, nah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. Aggressive. Modern and durable. The latest advancement in spinning has the Revo name on it, and almost a century of fishing expertise in it. No matter where your passion takes you, world-class fishing is only a Revo away. For sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. 
I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and I, I'm going to give you a quick duck report and, and some photos I've gotten during the week. Uh, we're going to start off with my friend Paul Bet Ratliff. Uh, he hunting in Bienville in Paris. Uh, they got their clear. They've been killing. He sent me a couple of pictures. He didn't put their name on it, but I'm going to give him credit. He's called the L.A. Hunter. He sent me those pictures of some big deer being caught, one of them over, over 200 pounds. So... Uh, I think that one guy, the last one he sent me was Brian Maxey. That's with that 200 pound. Uh, no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That wasn't his name. I did mess it up again. But Paul Ratliff. Then I also got one. Uh, Cooper Nelson, seven year old boy hunting in Rackersea, two weeks in a row. He killed his first, that's one. Then he killed this monster, 11 point, 195 pound in Rackersea Island. Congratulations, Cooper. Uh, Steve St. Cyr, he's one of our correspondents down in Port Barry, Opelousas area. He sent a picture as a call buck. And then going with the ducks, the only good report I got was from, from Bobby Black up there in, in, in Ruston and Monroe and all those areas. He been, they've been killing a lot of mallards south at the lease south of Monroe. But his lease in Tensaw, they went two days and it, it slaughtered them. Then the next day, on uh, New Year's Day, they sent some people over there, and uh, they didn't kill but eight. So that's the story I'm getting. Most people are killing ducks, but they come in on the cold fronts, and then all of a sudden they go somewhere else. So that's the duck report. When we come back, we're going to have the Berkeley Abu Garcia fish report. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter. Home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Elfish's original power bait by 45%. Disperses a supercharged scent field that attracts more fish and triggers more strikes. Power bait max set. Fish bite and won't let go. asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? <laughs> Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and uh, Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Uh, let, 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 me, uh, let me start out and give you a, a tournament report. We're going to try to finish this thing up. The Lions and Lunkers, uh, they wrapped up their fall winter 
uh, tournaments uh, on December the 12th in the East Pearl. Let me tell you what, it was bad weather. A lot of people stayed away. It was cold, but these people still caught fish. This amazed me how, how these people catch fish. First was LaShawn Robinson and Kyle Hill. They had 16 pounds of bass, and that, that's a big one. And then the constant in second place was Jake and uh, Bridget in Posada. They had 12 pounds, 95, and then rounding out third was, uh, that's where I come up with that name while I go trying to read, was Steve Hadley and, uh, oh, let me see, Steve Hadley and, and oh, and, and, and I think it's David Crumley. So I knew them. They had, they had about 11, 12 pounds. Uh, the big fish also came from uh, Jake and Bridget and Posada. And they've been the popular, the most constant puppy. You see them every week or every month when they turn in the tournament. Adult. So congratulations, y'all. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, I'm going to start off the fish report again. Uh, I'm getting pictures and, and, and reports come from like crazy come from Lake Catherine Island Marina and all in that same area. Uh, Mike Brantley sent me some pictures. He don't take time to do it and give me a good report, but he had a young lady come from Wisconsin. I think her name was Madison from Wisconsin, and they're catching those bass up and down. And, and Mike's also catching trout. when he, he catching them redfish, but all the captains now are catching bass. They're catching them on live shrimp under a cork. And if you want to go catch sheephead and trout, yeah, they use that matrix shad, or opening night, whatever you want to call it. If you saw the show with Chaz, you see what I'm telling you. This ain't just sometime. This is almost every time they come out there, even when it's a little rough, not bad. And that tide's moving, they catching fish at the bridges. A lot of people are looking for it. Cocodry, my buddy Gary Krause and them, they were kill, killing the trout. They went and stayed almost a week, and they, they didn't do that well in Cocodry. But there was a lot of small fish. He said they had to catch 20 or 30 to keep five. He said there was just a lot of small fish, and, uh, and that's what's going on. And Coca Dree, the other reports I'm getting, you know, Toledo Bend Lake Country, they got reports. They go to their website. They, not, they post every day. They post river, lake stages, everything you want to know, all the captains. So you send it over there. If you want to find out more about Sackalay and freshwater fishing, and then uh, Brendan Dubrock, they started a staff on us. He sent me a long, long report from uh, up there in Lorto Saline. He said that the, the big fish started, died off. He said the water's starting to come back up. He don't know how fast it's going to be. But they got to go real deep to find some sacrilege. They're catching a lot of 10 inch, uh, under 10 inches. And so you got to be 10 inches to keep. And he says uh, it, it should change. Even if the water comes up, he said, when they're going to get that, that, that away, February and March is a great time. Uh, I, run it, I run the name is, is uh, Slab Hunters at Brendan Dubrock and them. If you want to make a trip, you want to book a trip, he still got some specials going on. Uh, my friend John Bernard sends me the report all the time from the Dulac area over there, and he, uh, he sent me a picture. Let me... <laughs> He says, one year, you ain't going to see no box shot. You ain't going to see no table shot. Him and six of his friends, that, uh, they going to a conference. You know, he's a, he's a Christian. He's one of my, he ministers to me all the time. Uh, th this is John Bernard's picture he sent me, a living, in, living in Freedom, the conference he's going to attend. Thank you, John. Keep praying for me. Uh, I, I tell you, uh, Mark Maha. Uh, sent me a picture of his grand, grandkids, Reese and Riley, Maha, redfish, shrimp under a cork in the Chafalaya Bay area, okay? Now, the, the, I told you the, the tournament report, but uh, I had some other pictures. Oh, yeah, uh, at Island Marina, it may go back over there. They, they, they just catching them like crazy. Perry Barras been, hadn't, ain't been having a boat. He's been going with friends. He's killing the bass. Before I go out one more time, I, I want to thank Miss Angie and, uh, and David. 
Stuart over there at the Island Marina, they do so much, they send so many reports. So uh, if you're in the area, all you do is, is drop. They'll tell you, they got, always got fresh shrimp. They'll always tell you, they got live shrimp, excuse me. And they, they'll tell you where the captains are catching fish. And most of the captains are real friendly. You know, they go in one area, I read Joe McAloose's column, and they was talking about his son and all of them have been going down there and then Mr. Go and everything. You go one there, you look at the rocks and there's more the fish been biting, and especially the trout, and you'll see they might have 40, 50 boats, and you go somewhere else where you used to fish and start catching fish, and might, you might be by yourself. So, so many areas to cover in that area, that is the best report. I also in here, had, I'm getting great reports from Venice. They're fishing bass, they're fishing in the canes. The water looks muddy, but it's not as muddy as it looked. And if guys was telling me they're using, using plastic bait, salted crawls, different than they're pitching up in the canes, but they're not way up in the canes no more. They, they're on the outside the canes, the water looks muddy, you won't see them swimming, but they're catching their fish in four foot of water and less. So that's Venice Report. Uh, both of those marinas too. And over there, especially a Venice marina, you can call over there, they give you the latest report. The report from Fouchon and Grand Isle, hit and miss. So, but I, I haven't gotten none, but, but a week or so ago, I talked to Buggy, and I also talked to Butch, or text them back and forth. And uh, there are people catching fish, and they got live bait, so. That's it, I got one more sad story. I lost another, two great friends with COVID. And uh, I'm hearing every day, friends of mine, uh, I didn't know they were in the hospital or they're getting sick. He's, we, we lost, we lost, I call him Coach Stelly, Vic Stelly, very close friend, coached me in high school, been friends with him, babysit. That's tragic. Him and his wife, Terry, you know, 13 hours apart. Uh, Louis Prejean, first one to introduce me to Judge Scalia and his son. We did trips on Father's Day with Judge Scalia's son and his grandson. And Lewis is with Catholic Radio. Uh, please mention family in your prayers. And Irvin Townley, who coached with me at St. Alphonsus, was our athletic director. Anytime you need anything, Coach Irvin was there. Irvin, all my friends, rest in peace, pray for me. You get up there, intercede for me, pray for me. Be safe, please be safe. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. BBQGuys.com presents Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Vinny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Demco, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, and by Farm Bureau Insurance.